That is the view Laura and I got this morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jack, and I'm from the Klutzy Outdoorsman. And I'm bringing you guys along on our trip to ETAR. ETAR stands for Eastern Traditional Archers Rendezvous. And right now, we are staying at a friend's house in Ohio. And like I said, this is the view we got this morning. It is absolutely spectacular, but wait until you see where we're actually staying. This used to be Mick's old place in Ohio, so it's got lots of awesome things for an outdoorsman. Close the door. And just look at this place. We've got black bears, pronghorns, ducks, even an old Kentucky long rifle. I mean, just an absolutely amazing place to stay. Now, we're going to go and get some breakfast real quick. And it's another six hour drive to Denton Hill State Park where we're actually going to be shooting. This place even has a functioning cuckoo clock. How cool is that? So, right now we're traveling through eastern Ohio on the way to Pennsylvania. And the drive out here is really pretty because in Minnesota, for the most part, it's pretty flat. But here we got lots of big hills and lots of trees, which is kind of cool to look at. Right now it's a, it's about a 15 after 11 and the GPS says we're going to be there about 4. So about 5 more hours to go and then we'll be at Den Hill State Park. At least we didn't have to get up at 3 a.m. this morning. Oh, that was, I mean it was, a, it was a smart idea and we made really good time. It's just that we made it to Ohio in, what time, 8 instead of 5 or 6. So, There's a lot of road construction. A lot of road construction and a lot of pit stops. Because the legs definitely needed to be stretched. Um, a lot of it in Indiana. So, How many hours did we drive yesterday? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 17, 17 hours? One trip? So it was a uh, it was a long drive. It's the longest. I don't think it's. The, I think it's actually the longest drive I've ever been on in one direction. Because whenever I went on um, like road trips with my parents, it, there, we would always stop somewhere. Like on our trip to South Dakota, we probably made it one way. But that's not. That's only one state over from Minnesota. It's not like. Let me see. Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. It's five states away from Minnesota. And we made it all the way down here. Now, when we went to see my brother in Vermont, it was, we stayed at my Aunt Kathy's place in Illinois, then we stayed in Erie, Pennsylvania, and then we uh, made it to Vermont. But this time, we're gonna go all the way to Ohio, Pennsylvania, then from Pennsylvania all the way to Illinois, then from Illinois to Minnesota. And so, then to work the next day. And then to work the next day. I gotta work at 10 to 7. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. okay. We're back here, and the line is all the way up that hill. So we're driving along, and then all of a sudden, this this truck that's in front of us right here they he merged in like oh that's kind of weird and there's a cop car facing our direction which is again kind of weird and now there's like one lane of traffic are you kidding me it's, it's there's a, there's gonna be a merge point somewhere that's what the signs say but 
Heaven help us, our ETA time to ETAR was about four o'clock. Now our GPS says it's gonna be 15 after four. At this if rate, it could five. be it could be five, 5.30. I mean, granted, it's not so not bad, six. but I wanted to be there at a good time. Well, and one other thing, at this crawl we're going at, we're going like two, maybe three miles an hour. That means that if we were walking right now, that would mean we were going faster than we are in the car. Mind blowing, just mind blowing. At least there's a good view out here. You make a good point. Whoop. And watch as we rear end somebody. <laughs> So now that we're out of traffic, we're finally uh, able to see the scenery Pennsylvania has to offer. And wow, it's really pretty here. Whenever we see a valley or a gully, it's just spectacular. We're getting closer. The Allegheny National Forest is coming up. Okay, folks, it's day number two. We made it to Denton Hill, and it is raining like crazy. It rained all day, or excuse me, it rained all pretty night. much all day yesterday. It's, it's been raining all day today, and it rained all last night, 100% of the time. Laura thought she heard thunder, so it's been just raining constantly. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive into a town that our neighbors, um they recommended we go to and we're going to try and get a blue tarp some alligator clips and actually jerry rig um another awning like a, another um rain fly because our tent is leaking at the moment where is it leaking the seams on the sides yeah so where the where the actual material comes down to a point and meets like the tarp material for the bottom it's leaking there so we so we got some of our towels um, wiped all that out and then we put a couple mugs and a couple cups under there to actually catch the water as it falls um, so hopefully that'll keep it dry until we figure out a solution to keep those seams from leaking if and not all the gear is back in the car so if it gets wet in there we'll just take the towels and go dry it all off again Essentially, but we don't want it to keep getting wet because that means that our, our equipment could get wet and that could be problematic, especially for camera equipment and things like that. It's just going to live in the car. Uh, or else it's just going to live in the car. I mean, it's still, I mean, it is just beautiful out here. Lots of mountains and stuff, but it's been wet. We talked to a, a Big Jim from Big Jim's Bows. He came and said hi. Um, last night because we're right behind we we're literally right behind the vendor tents and so we, he just came around and said hi and um, super nice guy and I asked him so uh, is it normally this wet every year and he said that it was the wettest year he had ever seen at ETAR the wettest the the guys that we stayed with they've been coming here for years they said this year is particularly wet last year was absolutely spectacular it was beautiful uh, but this year is just wet. Well, the one year they had almost a tornado come through, so you just don't know what weather you're going to get out here. Yeah, pretty much. So once we figure out a solution to our little leak issue, we'll be able to show you, uh, show you guys that 
and you'll get to see what we actually did so stay tuned etar 2018 let me show you what our campsite looks like now this is the back side of it <coughs> so we still have the tent down just like that we did put a tarp right here for our shoes and then we have the awning on top just like that to keep the rain off the tarp is mostly for like shoes chairs and things like that so our stuff doesn't have to be right on the ground but hopefully this this setup works just in case some rain happens because as you can see our tent it's a little bit wet it just came down and poured this morning so i think this setup will help keep us a little bit drier oh, all right we are back at the camp we just got done shooting the practice course. And it's not really a course, it's more of a shooting range where they have targets all kind of lined up. We should, probably should have filmed it, but we didn't really feel like it because it's kind of boring just having us <laughs> shoot into a blank line. Nothing's really different or anything like that. We did get to meet Grizzly Jim Kent, uh, Greg Richards, um, Joel Kruger, Tr Krug? Krug? Probably got his name wrong. Um, and then Leaf from The Knocking Point. I think it is Joe Krug. I think it is. Um, uh, and then we also got to meet Matt Zernzak from The Push Archery. And all those guys were super, super nice. We got to talk with Grizzly Jim and um, Greg for a really long time. That was, that was that's got to be one of the highlights of our trip so far. Uh, but we shot the course. We had some fun. They don't have any courses open, I don't think. And uh, Laura and I are both pretty tired. Laura... She's crashed for a nap. I'm out here just kind of enjoying the weather, listening to the rain, essentially. Uh, but, is it, but so far, that's how our afternoon's been going. Etar's been a lot of fun so far. Everyone we've ever met has been super duper nice. And there are some crack shots here. Like some people are like, just peg balloons off of targets and things like that. It's a lot of fun. 